Hey guys, Penadaily here, and welcome back to Let's Play Chrono Trigger. In the last episode, we met an interesting young lady named Marl. Actually, that her name should be pronounced Marl. Uh, and uh, got sucked through a weird portal, and now we are here. Residents. Okay, well, let's go talk to some people. A millennial fair? Here? What are you talking about? It's the year 600 and the 21st king of Guardia reigns. Guardia, Guardia. What do you have to say? We've been at war for years. When will it end? Pretty soon, because I'm a protagonist and I'm here. Market. I could probably use some shit. Let's see. You're going to fight Magus's army? Wonderful, but remember to equip yourself with the weapons you buy. Yeah. No window shoppers. What do you want? Buy. Uh, let's see. I only have... Uh, wait. A karate gi. Well, it'll up my defense, so let's buy that. Um, I can buy an iron blade, but I think I'm gonna find one, like I said, eventually. Maybe not. Let's see. And it's, it's a little better for Chrono, but not that much. Eh, I think we're fine. Okay. So, thanks, see ya. You're, yeah, nice. <sighs> okay. Weapon, wood sword, eh. Yeah, okay, let's do that, good. All right, that gives me a little, yeah. I should have totally gone for the bronze mail back in our time period, but oh well. Truce in. That'll be ten gold. Register? Yeah, actually I'm going to, because ten gold is not a lot. And I could probably use the healing. And, yep, uh, that's, I think, the same um, chest that's in the future. Yeah, well, we'll talk about that. Where am I? Are you stupid? This is the Kingdom of Guardia. We're battling Magus's army. You did know that, right? No. Lovely. We need more ignorant strangers around here. Dude, I got lost. Millennial Fair? What? Are you crazy? What nonsense? Dude, I'm just very lost. What a relief. They finally found Queen Lean wandering up in the mountains. She must be glad to be home. Hmm... Everyone was worried. The king freaked when the queen took off. We all thought Magus had grabbed her. Thank goodness she's safe. Uh, well. Are you a stranger here too? I'm Toma the Explorer. If you're buying, I'll tell you a story. Absolutely. It's another ten gold. Uh, in the original Japanese, this is sake. Thanks. It's about the missing queen. She disappeared while visiting that cathedral to the west and... Beg your pardon? What? They found her? Never mind. Talk to him again. I was sure there was something fishy about that cathedral. Well, as this is a JRPG, generally they are evil. The Magus' army destroyed Zin and Bridge, so the South Continent is inaccessible. Yeah. Yeah, well, that, that's a thing we'll deal with later. Okay, let's see. Another residence? I'm Banta, the blacksmith. I'm forging a bell for the queen to present to his beloved Queen Lean. I lost it when the queen disappeared. I just couldn't keep working on the bell. But now it's back to business as usual. Uh, do you notice what his name is an anagram of? Yeah, this is actually Luca and her father's ancestor. Taban is a blacksmith, though the game never actually says that. At least this ver the, the English version doesn't. My husband wants a daughter who is as intelligent as she is beautiful. Well, he gets a huge, way down the line descendant. We could go down to Pore, or actually not Pore, because that's, you know, see, we can't go down the bridge, which would take us to Lucas. Or, we can't get to Lucas Island at all, and we can't get to Pore, and we shouldn't go there. Not yet. So, let's check out the forest. All right, now there's some stuff in here, including random battles. You can run around, so go this way. All right, and we go this way, I think. Nope. Oh yeah, we get into a fight. Well, 
Let's uh, fight some blue eaglets. Tech. Cyclone. Okay. That's good. I, it'll only get those two, unfortunately, though you'd think. Still, that did some pretty nice damage. And now that guy's gonna hurt us, and now we just wait till we rebuild our stuff, and then just straight attack him. Well, that's good. Yeah, die. Jerk. Alright. And we gotta heal. Okay, we don't actually have anything this direction. Uh, actually, we went the... Okay. Um, this bush... The monster dropped a shelter! That's pretty nice. Okay, if we go this... Yeah, here we get attacked, and we will need to kill these guys. Alright, uh, let's see. Um... Cyclone. That works. Yeah, it, it's... Two for one is still pretty nice, even if it does use up our MP. We're gonna get a chance to rest here in a bit, so... Jerk. And there we kill that guy. So yeah, not bad. Nine experience points, got some tech points, got a tonic. That's pretty nice. Alright, hold on. Right. Need to go this way, I think. No? There's a power tab around here somewhere. Hold on. Alright. I am just not very good at this. What can I say? Well, let's see here. Yeah, this is where... I think there's a power tab around here somewhere. Aha! Oh no, this is a fight. Oh well. Yeah, we get Rolly Riders. Gonna wait. Well, okay, fine. Oh wait, no. Attack. No, they're still not close enough. Yeah, there is a little strategy. Ooh. Uh, but you don't actually... Ow. Well, that was stupid. I should have... I should have concentrated my attacks on one of these guys. There, he died. There we go. Yeah, okay, I'm... I'm... Not the best at this battle, but I'm okay. Jesus! I keep running into everybody! Tech. Cyclone. There. This this definitely will kill everybody. And hey, I'm getting some... Oh. I guess you're a little stronger than that. Stop making that face at me. It'll. F if you're not careful, it's going to freeze that way. Yeah, if these guys look like Piccolo, there's a reason for it. Alright, well. And we leveled up. Good. I'm not really a grinding person. Okay, this is where we came in. Uh, let's see. Okay. Well, whatever. Just ignore the shaking bushes, if you can. Because they will be fights, and we are kind of low on health. S Jesus. Okay, this could be a problem. Tech. A. Cyclone. Well, I was... Oh, oh come on! That should totally have re re that guy. Unfortunately, we're kind of low on MP, so um, I'm just going to start, yeah, killing these guys. 
All right. Darn it, did it again. No, no, maybe I didn't. It's hard to keep track of these guys sometimes, but you know, we're, we're fine. Good, everybody's dead. Experience points and tech points are very nice. Um, although Chrono actually cannot learn, there's nothing that way. So yeah, let's just head up this way. Now we are in Guardia Castle. Halt, who goes there? Check out that hair. Where are you from, son? Are you one of Magus' troopers? Do I look military with this hair? Hardly. This kid would never have made the cut. Show us your stamp collection, son. I have no idea what that originally was. Stop that at once. Queen Lean. You look familiar. Show your manners. This is a friend of mine. But there's something odd about him. Glare. You refuse to obey my orders? Forgive me, my lady. Please enter, sir. <laughs> yeah, okay. All right. What do you have to say? King Guardia the 21st is in the throne room. Mind your manners. Dude, I don't talk. Hmm. Chancellor! Hmm. Is it my breath? The king's room is upstairs. The knight's quarters are downstairs to the left. Sir, I understand that you're one who saved my dear wife, the queen. Can you tell me what happened? Lean's acting rather odd. And she seems to have lost her coral pin, which is something she guarded with her life. Forgive me, you must be tired. We can talk about this later. Please, rest in the night quarters downstairs to the left. Yeah, we're gonna do that. And just sort of look around. Because there's some interesting stuff. Downstairs. Take a snooze? Yes! That'll get our MP and HP back, because we did kind of get chomped. Magus' troops are strangely quiet. Something's about to happen. Yep. Mm. One of the Murphy's Laws of Combat. The inver enemy always invariably attacks at two times. When they're ready and when you're not. Long ago, a beast called Yakra lurked in the western forest. But after the cathedral was built, Yakra disappeared. We're thankful for that. I think maybe you should pay a little more attention to that. Oh, if only Sir Cyrus were here. You've heard of him, haven't you? Uh, no, I'm a stranger here. <laughs> or are you simply a fool? Well, you know, I'm from... It's another country. What a relief, the Queen's been found. Now we can concentrate on the war. Sir Cyrus was the commander of the Knights. His mission was to protect the King and Queen. He and a friend left on a journey ten years ago. No one has heard from them since. Zenon Bridge is our last line of defense. We must guard it with our lives. So you're the one who helped the queen. Talk to the maid if you need to rest. Already did. Okay, so we can't... Yeah, can we go up? No. Alright, let's check out the other side first before we go talk to the queen. Because we're LPers and it's what we do. Okay, let's see. So, you saved Queen Lean. Yep. This place is a mini war zone. This is no place for kids. Wait, maybe you'd know. What's this ice cream stuff that Queen Lean wants so badly? In the original Japanese, she wants a crepe. Which he's never heard of either. And now we get a cutscene. Such as it is. Where's supper? Oh, Captain, I'm sorry. We're fighting a war out there. Can't you even keep us fed? What are you fussing about? You're not the only one who's fighting out there. Hey, I don't have time for this. Just feed my men, okay? Shut your trap. I'll decide who's going to get fed and when. He's a little testy, I think, because they have, they're have they having some issues with getting provisions. No, seriously. Those two are brothers. You've heard the expression sibling rivalry, right? Ah. This dining room is for us soldiers. Feel free to grab a bite. The night captain is normally very kind. The chef just rubs him the wrong way. It's a family thing. 
The night captain is trying hard to fill the shoes of his predecessor, Sir Cyrus, commander of the knights. I like... I really love how this game does story. I... I'm hungry. I suspect originally, at least, you were drunk. Here's your food! Alright! Um, she's not actually the maid. As you can see, she looks different than the other maids. That's because she's actually the chef's wife. So, yeah, they changed that in this version for whatever reason. Alright. Well, now... The queen seems to be waiting for you upstairs in her room. I love how absolutely nobody thinks anything of this strange guy heading up to the queen's room. Appar yeah, do not open this chest. The chests... There actually was a chest down in the kitchen, which um, I'm actually going to go do now. Uh, I, I forgot. Uh, many of these chests have counterparts in present day... Oh, yeah. Yeah, whatever. Um, present day Guardia, Ca Guardia Castle. If you open a chest here, its counterpart... We get an ether. That's nice. If you open a chest here, its counterpart will be empty in the future. And if you open them in the future, they have better items. So don't open them here. That one has no counterpart. So go ahead and open it. Do not open any of the others. Just go up the tower. The queen awaits. Like, seriously. I mean, yeah, okay, she's got handmaidens as chaperones, but, uh... The queen married into the family ten years ago. She still looks so youthful. In fact, she looks even younger now than on her wedding day. Um... You saved our queen? You don't look that tough. Looks can be deceiving, lady. Aha! There you are! Please leave us. I need to talk to this individual. Certainly, your highness. Don't open this chest, either. Come nearer, sir. <laughs> Fooled you, didn't I, Chrono? Yeah, it's... It's Marl. It's me, but everyone calls me Lean. I'm so relieved you're here. We barely know each other, but somehow I knew you'd come for me. Well, I'm... I have spiky hair, and this is a JRPG. Obviously, I am the protagonist. Thank you, Chrono. Uh-oh. Something's wrong. Oh, what's happening? It feels like I'm being torn apart. Help me, Chrono. I'm scared. Please, Chrono, help me. Uh-oh. That's not good. Okay. And there's no music, either. Has she dismissed you already? You were polite, of course. You didn't do anything funny, did you? No, oh, yes. Ooh, we can't let this juicy tidbit out of the castle. She says something different about it being a juicy tidbit. Did you notice anything odd about the queen? Yeah. Just as I thought. She claims she's not lean. There's something different about her. Don't mention this to anyone. Okay. I grow so tired of the gossip around here. In the Japanese, he says, Women like their gossip no matter the era. Chrono! <sighs> You're okay. Did you find the girl? Gone? What do you mean she's gone? Hmm, just as I thought. I knew I recognized her. And this looks identical to the castle in our time. I bet they mistook that girl for her ancestor. You see, she's a member of the royal family in our time. She's Princess Nadia. In the Japanese, her name is the first three characters of whatever default name you, or whatever name you gave her, plus Dia. 
So Marl is her Japanese, it Maru is her default Japanese name. So she would be Princess Marudia, Marudia, basically. So Nadia is a pretty good compromise, I'd say. <laughs> Chrono is shocked. The rest of us saw this coming. Marl, that is Princess Nadia, is a descendant of Queen Lean. Uh, they only have so many sprites. I guess this is showing how descent works. Queen Lean has been kidnapped. As I recall, someone was supposed to have saved her, but history has been changed. Marl looks so much like Lean that they probably called off their search when she appeared here. But if the real queen is killed... Guy just keeps making faces. Marl will simply disappear. There might still be time. If we can save Lean, history as we know it should remain unchanged. Yeah, this game is seriously timey whiny. Like, worse than uh, Oracle of Ages. Something must have happened to the Queen in this era. As a result, Princess Nadia ceases to exist. Typo! Hurry, we have to find the real Queen. Luca joins the party! Good. Well, let's see here. Um, let's see. What shall we do with Luca? Aside from, like, Guardia Forest? Let's see. Okay, we've been... Yeah, if, see, if we come this way, there's just a sealed chest. So, yeah. Leave that alone. Come this way. Just keep looking around. Okay. Um, we've been... Uh, yeah, I don't want Luca to get into a fight with me just yet. Okay. Ah! And there's the power tab. See? You knew we'd find it eventually. Ah, shit. Okay, well, let's, let's fight with Luca. I mean, we've got a little of it. Let's see, tech, cyclone... That guy. He's still gonna have some. Uh, he's still gonna be around. See? Oh no. I guess I hit him pretty hard. Alright, got some experience points. Got some tech points. Chrono cannot learn a new tech. Um, hold on. Let's, uh. Yeah. Well, that was stupid. A. Yeah, he's got Cyclone. Oh, he hasn't actually learned Slash yet. Never mind. He can learn slash attack. He'll need 62 more skill points to learn that one. Um, Luca needs to learn flame toss. She needs seven more skill points, and I would like to learn that. But let's at least go get her some um, gear before we do. So, that's the inn. That's the market. Yeah, yeah. Uh, let's see, what have I got? A dirt gun! That that gives Luca a bit of an upgrade. Hmm. She she's got a karate gi on already. Actually, she could probably use a bronze helm. Let's buy her that. And let's see. Okay. And, uh, sure, why not? Let's buy her a dart gun. Yeah, that takes us down pretty low, but I think we're fine. I mean, we could also sell some stuff. Okay, uh, Luca. We're going to give you a dart gun. And the bronze helm. Good. And we're also going to equip that bandana on her because her speed is kind of pathetic. Alright. So, I do kind of want to go grind for a bit. Um, we're definitely... yeah. Let's see. Get Luca. Well, let's, let's kill these guys with Luca and see, you know, give her some actual, uh, let's see, tech. 
cyclone. There we go. Oh, come on. Bullshit. Okay, Luca, attack that guy. That's it? You smack them? That's pretty nasty. Okay. Well, we can always go stay at the hotel. Or, the hotel. Three tech points. Gotta heal. Um. I'm check. We're gonna check tech points on Luca. She needs four more. So, uh. Seriously? So, I'm actually. Let's. Well. Let's go examine that bush. Yeah, more rolly riders. I know this is kind of boring, but I. Th sort of interesting. Okay, Chrono, just um, attack that guy. Luca, attack that guy. As you can see, okay, I guess you can do shots too. I guess the, the other attack is when you're just close up. I don't know. Four tech points. Okay, then never mind. Luca learned Flame Toss. And we learned the dual tech Fire World. When two characters no attack, uh, they can together make a tech called a dual tech. So if we, Chrono uses Cyclone and Luna uses or Luna, Luca uses uh, Flame Toss we get Fire Whirl. Okay. So now we are at the cathedral. We could have gotten another shelter. I probably should have. Oh well. There's a lot of stuff here. So let's uh, talk to the nuns. We want nothing but world peace. Or a piece of the world. Tee <laughs> hee. Uh, yeah. People wouldn't know what to do with themselves in a truly peaceful world. My, what delicious, er, I mean delightful looking humans. Lady, you are not convincing. You might like to stick around for the organ recital. <laughs> it's a real killer. Jay. Oh dear, it looks like you could use some food and a place to rest. In peace. What did you find? A hairpin. That's Gordia's royal crest. And though she doesn't say, it's made of coral. Yeah, it's Aline's. Eep! Okay, these two. Um, let's see. We want to wait for... Okay, we get a slow spell. Um, of course. Crap. Oh, please tell me she's... Okay. Wait. Um, okay. Great. Combo. We want to do Fire Whirl on those two. Ow. Yeah. They are really, really weak to magic. And, uh, Fire Whirl is magical. So now we wait. Let Luca build up her thing. She's fine. I mean... We can't really do anything about the slow spell right now because, um, we can't do anything about the slow spell right now because, uh, we don't have haste. But hey, we're fine. Uh, Luca's attack hit, or her flame toss hits all enemies on a line. So yeah, that's not too bad. Four tech points. And Chrono leveled up, and Luca leveled up. Phew, that was close. Eep! Ack! That's nice. Lower thine guard, and thou art allowing the enemy in. Dude, it's thy guard. Thine is used for words that begin with vowels, or as an object? It is mine, it is thine. It is my book. Y it is thy book. You you get my point. And thou art here to save the queen. The lair is deep within. Will thee accompany? Wilt thou accompany me? A, a frog? Chrono, it's a talking frog! I hate frogs! My guise doth not incur thy trust. Very well. Do as thee please. Do as thou please. But I shall save the queen. W wait. 
you don't seem like a bad, uh, person frog thing. I mean... Chrono, what should we do? You have to go with the frog. I'll just have to handle it. I mean, deal with him. What's your name? Frog! Yeah. Uh, this is, this is good. In the Japanese, his name is Kaeru, which means frog. But it's actually a multi-level pun. Because not only does Kaeru mean frog, it can be, depending on the kanji you use, it can be one of three different verbs. Kaeru can mean to transform. It can mean to replace. Pardon me. Um, as in to um, substitute or exchange. And it can mean to return. All of these are very appropriate for Frog, as we will find out as the game progresses. Frog will do. Yeah. <laughs> and he makes the bicep polishing gesture. Alright, nice to meet you, Frog. Mayhap a hidden door lurks nigh. Let us search the environs. Yeah, in the original Japanese, he did not speak in ye old butchered English. He didn't even speak like Cayenne with the, um, the Sesha and Degozaru. He spoke more like a disciplined, uh, tough, sort of a tough, disciplined guy. But n none of the, uh, sort of archaic u use of Degozaru or Sesha. Um, uh, but I'm gonna call it here for now. We're at roughly half an hour. So next time, we will continue on into the depths of the cathedral and hopefully rescue Queen Lean. Well, have a great evening. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.